Hey everybody, so now I'm back in the press room. Um, my vlog for this afternoon is going to be spot color versus CMYK. Uh, this topic was suggested by our friends at Media Vision Advertising. Thank you, James and Kara. Um, so very quickly, without getting into a lot of definitions, I want to talk very briefly about spot color. Spot color, the only way I can describe this is whole color. So this is a can of 199 red. Every time I take a spoonful of ink out of this can, it's 199 red and it comes out the same every time. If your logo is 199 red and you produce your printed products via a CMYK method, okay, which is mixing cyan, magenta, yellow and black. Yes, K is black. That's a topic for another vlog. You're mixing those four colors to come up with something that looks as close as possible to this 199 red, which is not always the case. I want you to think about it as if we were maybe baking cookies, okay? You go over to your friend's house, you bake cookies using her recipe, okay? You say these cookies are fantastic and you bring the recipe back to your house. But when you mix them up to your house, they don't taste quite the same. Maybe it was the pan that you used, which would be equivalent to the machine that I'm printing it on. So I print it one way at a big box store and it comes out one way and you say, I don't really like that. And then you bring it to me and my machine prints it a different way. It's the pan that you're using to make your cake or cookies. Okay. Maybe it's the ingredients, the CMYK. Maybe it's not calibrated just quite right. My recipe is off for creating the look of the red 199. Um, maybe you used wheat flour when you should have used white flour. So maybe you used dark chocolate chips when you should have used semi-sweet chocolate chips. So the ingredients and the mix, how you've put them in there, in what percentages, makes a difference as well. So, um, yeah. Who knew that printing and baking were like this, like this, like that? You can't do it. So um, I hope this helps a little bit. Um, if you have any questions about CMYK and or spot color that I didn't answer in this blog, put them in the comment section below and um, I read that. I'll try and get back to them as soon as I can. Thanks.